I want to show you some ideas about double stops. Now, we've talked about double stops where we had a pedal tone and you moved the scale. You basically saw a scale below the pedal tone or above the pedal tone. We're going to take some patterns. If you go back to the second lesson where we did the double stops in the minor pentatonic scale, you clearly saw how you had a high side and a low side. Diagram 3 shows that quite clearly with the color coding. Let's use the minor pentatonic scale and come up with some different interval structures. Remember, if you're playing a rock or a blues sound, the minor pentatonic establishes this very strong tonality, and you can mix pretty much anything you want out of this. These are the kind of licks that are just big sounding. Eric Johnson plays these. A lot of great players will throw in these structures because in a guitar bass format, guitar bass drums format, it just fattens things up. All right, now, lesson two talked about using double stops in which we viewed the sides of the pentatonic scale. So what I'm going to do here is change the initial interval, and then we simply move down through the scale or up through the scale, as the case may be. You'll understand this in just a minute. Go back to diagram three, and you can see how you had the high side was flatted seventh and flatted third on the second and first strings. And then we move that down through the scale, so obviously you're on the high side and the low side, high side and low side. Well, here's a great idea. What if you were to take your initial structure, and instead of it being the high side of both strings, you're going to look at it as the low side of the lower string and the high side of the higher string. So there you're playing a 5 and a flat 3. And then as you move down through the scale, they change roles. In other words, this is low, high, so now it's going to become high and low. You'll skip a string to get the structure. In essence, all you're going to do is move each note down to the next note in the scale. Let's go very slowly through this. 5 and flat 3 the G and the E flat. Then each note moves down one note in the C minor pentatonic scale, so now you have F and C. And once you've caught this, and you can see it, you'll always start off playing on adjacent strings, and then you'll skip a string. Now start on the second and third strings, same principle. Flat at third and flat at seventh, then each note goes down to the next note in the scale, you have a root and a fifth. Now, it's a little bit of a finger exercise because we're staying strictly in this position. I just want to show it to you that way. In a minute, I'll show you an easier way to play it, a different way. Then you continue down with these same ideas. I'm going to play it very slowly, and you're going to play along with me. Five and flat three. Four and one. Flat three and flat seven. One and five. Flat seven and four. Five and flat three. Four and one. Flat three and flat seven. One and five. So that's a pretty interesting sound. You could be... and just throw in a little move like that. But I said I was going to show you a little more practical way to play it. It won't involve so much hybrid picking, string skipping, dampening problems. You have all five forms of the C blues scale presented in this lesson. And if you simply delete the flat five from those, you have the five forms of the C minor pentatonic scale. This lick, or this series of lines here and structures, was strictly coming from the C minor pentatonic scale. If you can see the five forms from left to right or right to left along the length of the string on the fingerboard, it'll be easy for you because you'll always have a perfect fifth interval except for one place where it's a minor sixth. Here's what I mean. Let's say you wanted to play that structure, starting with root and fifth, then you went up through the scale. If you just stayed on the first and the second strings, See what I did? It was a perfect fifth, perfect fifth, perfect fifth, so I can just stay on the same string. Then you're going to start over again. So that's one way to visualize this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing you this because you can do it on your own. Just remember that the structure will always look the same as you move up and down the neck on any of the strings except the second and third strings. That's where it'll change because you get that tuning discrepancy there. So practice this specific uh, structure and scale form or chord scale principle with the C minor pentatonic scale both ways, staying in position and do that with each one of your scale forms and moving up and down along the length of the neck.